Uh, what are the team names again, please? If someone could supply them for me. Is this live? All right, we're live. Badlands Middle gonna be rolling out here. Actually, uh, Yuki playing Scout. Sorry, I didn't quite go over the rosters. I'm gonna watch T Rock coming in here. Has something to prove going up against Big Termo on demo. T Rock though, eating some early damage down to 50 health, backing up into house. The rest of his team actually putting out some decent damage. Geode goes down. Yuki down to seven, primed at 50 health. Termo half. If they can just play their heals right and maybe get a little bit of aggression in, they can actually win this mid. Yuki though. Despite being down to 7 health, going to get the f next pick. Primed, though, with another one. And a soldier in. Shifta in behind. So distracting from behind. If Blands can push across the point and get the medic. T-Rock with the big pocket heals on demo. Going to come across the point and clean it up. Termo suiciding. So actually, we might have an, an upset win on our hands here, boys. Going to call it here from the first mid. I don't know what the fuck this team is called. Massive versus Cash Money. Massive taking the first mid. Geo here trying to defend that Spire. Going to back up though. Yuki spawning Sniper. Hopefully they expect this. I, I think Yuki should be known for his sniping. The Medic with the face. Going to be uh, making sure he doesn't drop his Uber. Blands though gets body shot down. Goes down. Yuki on Greybridge. Still trying to scope up for another shot. And Bonobo now building his Uber up, up to 33%. Mac and Shifta trying to get kills. Shifta actually takes out Termo. So if Mac and uh, company can put some time on point here, they might actually have the opportunity to push into last with no demo on the on the red team here. T-Rock gets another frag. So three down, no demo. Slinky chasing. Geo down to 21. Geo, are you going to make it out? If they just peek it right, they can prevent him from getting in spawn. But he's putting out enough spam. I think he's going to get arrowed here. And I think he's going to make it into spawn. Yuki goes down too, so... Termo, not even going to wait, just going to go for his classic tube strat. Termo's in the tube, ladies and gentlemen. And Bonobo's surviving 80, 89%. He's got his Uber charging up. But picks from Jiu and Yuki, uh, playing a bit cocky, maybe. Just playing a bit loose. Um, can I remove it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I will I will take the, uh, the overlay off. The Uber popped an aggressive Uber. The smiley face... 98%, 99, he pops the Uber just in time. Mac gonna chase, Shifta almost gets Termo, but Bonobo gonna survive with 20 health. He's got his trusty Primed there to body block for him. And actually, just tr uh, frags being traded everywhere. This could be it, des the deciding fight here in lobby. Geo upper lobby, Slinky backing up, and Smiley face so low. So low. But having Zack 4 down might might be a mistake here trying to push out. Yuki on the Spire Prime going down. It's just Yuki up here. And he's getting jumped. Mac in behind takes out Geo. So it looks like the uh, Cash Money squad now losing Termo again on this Spire hole. It looks like Termo unable to survive when it comes to holding Spire. And that's, that's a huge loss because the Demo Man just spamming upward with the stickies is... Really the easiest way to defend the point. You don't have to commit your bodies to it, you know. But they keep losing uh, losing people. These uh, team fights are so messy, honestly. Uh, I have a feeling this cash money team might, might not be one to practice too much and uh, make sure that they have, you know, everything all tight and figured out, moving like a well-oiled machine. Um, but maybe they just have the experience and the, and the calls to make it happen. T-Rock with a nice 180 pipe there. Takes out Yuki. But the demo down. It's going to give a lot of uh, a lot of an opening to hear Termo pushing across bats. And just trying to control the territory. Sees that soldier on the flank. Going to actually stack here on Spire. Because when you're down numbers, finishing that cap is more important. That air shot on Spire. That was actually... Um, who was that? I think that was Geo who hit that air shot. Zach... And Prime committing to it, both losing so much health to Cap. And it, it looks like this uh, this massive team is really good at pushing Spire. Meanwhile, this cash money team is pretty bad, honestly, at holding it. They can get a few picks here and there, but they're not they're not able to hold it at all. And wow, um, really good focus fire, I want to say, for Massive on that Spire. They keep they keep picking off 
you know, the people that overextend on Spire who put themselves a little bit out of position for uh, the Spire hold. I'm going to disable that overlay now. Actually, this is probably the worst time I could have chose to disable the overlay because we're going into the next mid. Whoops, I'm an idiot. So, <laughs> going into the mid, we're going to open it up. No one dead yet. Luckily, Yuki gets the first two picks. Going to open up this mid really strong. And uh, he actually gets three, so Yuki... All on his own. He, he doesn't want to lose this match. He's got something to prove. Um, he's represented Australia twice internationally. I-49 and I-52. And uh, looks like he's going to be doing them proud again in this match here. But maybe getting a bit cocky there. Runs into last. I think they knew to expect that from the big Yuksta. And uh, he's going to go down, but... The forward hold is going to be in place. Termo not quite able to get in, but with the huge uber advantage, actually only a slight uber advantage. My mistake. Smiley face down to 90% and 30% uh, health, sorry. Geo jumping up one rocket. It's going to separate them, and the uber is popped. Questionable uber there. See, Geo was shooting at the demo while the medic was lit, but the medic pops. Maybe he was feeling that pain vicariously. But Zach with the big play in behind. Gonna get the flank on Spire. Actually, could have just, you know, patiently waited it out and back capped it, but instead shows himself, trades for the demo, and gonna lose actually the entire team. They're gonna wipe their Geo and Prime gonna spawn. They're gonna peek this, but uh, probably wisest if they back it up. <coughs> Don't notice you. I'm sorry. It's Los Poyos Hermanos. Oh, sorry. Fuck. I've embarrassed myself. It's Los Poyos Hermanos. I apologize. Um, I should have read chat. Geo here. Oh, hits that one rocket onto Smiley Face. But so many narrow survivals by these medics. Down to 10 health. Is he going to survive? No, neither of the scouts that showed their face decided to focus him. If Termo could just throw one roller over the spire, he could pick off that medic. But at this point, it might be too late. They're sending in another person to get the force when they're already down two. So questionable here. Their, their defense of Spire, and again, Termo going down on the defense. I think Termo is roaming a little bit too much or something. Like, he keeps getting isolated when it comes to the Spire hold. And now a uh, huge uber advantage for Bonobo here. Just trying to check all his corners. Doesn't want to get flanked when he's got this uber. And now he's got his crossbow out trying to defend himself. Yuki chasing in the 1v1. Ooh, Blands hits the meat shot. And can he take down Prime too? He can't. Geo in behind. The, uh, the game though is paused. Let's analyze the current situation. Oh my god, look at that shiny metal on his chest there. Termo with one of the ugliest hats he could have possibly chosen. Primed, very yellow. Actually, he looks pretty angry. No, actually, he doesn't look angry. I take that back. Here's Geo, just got his pick. Anyone spawning? No, nope, no one's spawning. T Rock here on Greybridge. I don't think I've ever seen that, that wristband before. He's going to be probably throwing out some stickies here. Um, I suspect he's going to trap up this Pride Rock, try and catch any scouts who try to jump across. But uh, who else is up? We've got the combo, so, you know, with spawns coming in pretty soon from the rest of Los Poyos Hermanos, we might see um, a decent hold here on Spire. The way I actually like to hold Spire is when the other team's coming in, I like to actually jump up on top of the Spire as a demo or soldier, even scout, okay? Honestly, any class except medic. I don't want to be up here as a medic. Um, but as as any combat class, I actually like being on top of the Spire to defend it, especially if I need to buy time because when people see you up there, they kind of they kind of take their time. You're kind of intimidating up here on the highest point on the map, you know? Um, and people don't want to approach because this is kind of the only way to get in, and if you can throw some rockets or stickies right on that spot... Um, People, you know, are very predictable with their approach. Like, a scout can really only jump 
in one direction when he's going off of here. If he decides he wants to jump off the side, he won't have enough uh, distance to make it. So if you just keep keep some spam concentrated on here from the top of Spire, you can really slow down the approach of any team on offense here um, <clears throat> and give your team some time to get their numbers in position. So... Have I ever asked UCA why do they have medals? No, I, I've never done that. I don't know why this game is paused. Uh, sorry, guys. I wish I could tell you. Um, it even looks like the spawns are going to be not quite in position. Yuki just died, I think, and uh, Zack is a little bit further back, so it's just a little bit more time for the Poyos to get their their team in position to defend here. Let's see if they can put up a better Spire defense than we've seen from Cash Money. Um, really, the way that everything fell apart for Cash Money, again, was Termo, man. Termo dies. So T-Rock hopefully doesn't just linger here on Greybridge because he will, of course, be vulnerable to a flank from Diag or, you know, just bombing soldiers. Um, the, the interesting thing about Badlands that I like is that if you push this, you're actually at a height advantage if the teams are playing passively, which encourages people to kind of play forward here, get their defense up. But, um, yeah, if you play passively, you're actually at the height disadvantage. And I want to say there's almost no other map in the game that has terrain like that, where pushing in through the choke actually puts you at a height advantage in, like, a decent position. And I think that that's a really big part of why people are so comfortable... Um, just pushing Badlands Choke with no advantage. Of course, the other reason is that there's no ceiling, so you can just jump right on through. And here they are, just flooding right on through. Zach caught up real quick. And uh, Cash Money is going to be starting this push onto Spire here. Combo quickly wrapping around. T-Rock able to put out just a little bit of spam, but they're just going to pull it back into a forward hold. I wish you would commit to this. Don't let that medic in. Oh. See, by giving up that forward hold and not putting out that pressure on the medic, they're going to allow themselves to get ubered on at last. Would have really liked to see them commit to the forward hold. Prime just going to run on the point. Oh, Uber's going to get built. I I guess I didn't see that coming because of the pause. I couldn't see his Uber percentage. And Mac going to take most of that Uber and clean up Primed. Let me uh, do a quick HUD reload. And uh, he's, Yuki's still dead. Only one pick, though, on a scout. Questionable to push out here onto Spire. But they're going for it as a team. They've got the scouts on Spire. They've got the soldiers bombing. It's the perfect recipe for a push out. But Yuki spawns Sniper. And he's going to take out the scout capping and the medic. Mac going to put some time on that point. Finish up the cap just to buy his team a little bit more time. So they have to go back and cap it before pushing last off their huge advantage. And uh, what's going on right now? Bonobo looks extremely lost. Mouse broke. Is this why they paused? <laughs> I think this might be the very reason. Uh, and he's out of the server, so a blessing in disguise. Bonobo has to rejoin the server, and uh, they're not going to wait. They're just going to push on that medic advantage. T-Rock kind of pinned by the sniper. Ooh! He crouches across the last second, and he gets out. The combo, though, committed to forward spawn. This is a disaster. Not only are they pinned by the sniper, but they can't escape because of stickies on gray, and they're only at 50%. So they have to all in here, and that's exactly what they're doing now. Jumping forward, smiley face, trying to surf down to 30 health, and he gets launched over to trash, takes a little bit of fall damage too. And uh, he's actually going to make it out, surprisingly. Would have liked to see the Cash Money Squad really push up forward here and lock off Greybridge so that there would be no hope of escape there from the Medic. And um, now pushing here on Upper. Red has lost their uber advantage, apparently. But they're pushing anyways. This is the second time we've seen them push um, into a, a direct counter uber from the smiley face man here. But smiley face had to give up his positioning. And now he's on the ground. But the frags. We've got everyone getting a frag. Slinky with two of his own. It's only Termo escaping. And they're retreating out through Valley. That means they have absolutely no presence on Spire. They're going all the way back to their own house. Termo completely out of ammo. So, 
great push out, great holds from from the uh, Poyos Hermanos here. And it looks like they're trying to take it into mid, maybe peeking into house. Geo getting caught, getting juggled. Oh, but the stairs save him from one extra rocket there. Termo gets two in house. He's probably wouldn't expect to find the demo in house there. But Mac and Blands are going to get a couple frags. If they can just back it up here, they might be able to just defend Spire. Oh, but Smiley Face, you had the escape on Greybridge. Why did you not take it? And he's going to go down. And Bonobo now at 90%. He's not even going to climb. He's just going to run right into lobby. Let's see if there's anyone waiting for him in there. It seems no. It seems they're going to have that opportunity they've been waiting for to push on to last. And um, is it Zach who's pocketing? Yeah, it looks like it. So we're going to watch Zach here on this push. They failed their last two attempts here. It is still 1-0, so... They really do need to get this round uh, in the bag. They need to wrap this one up so they can move into the next. And uh, here's Zag jumping up. Two clean rockets. Takes out the medic. And then Yuki following in upper. I think this is a guaranteed win here. Frags left and right. Demo down. And it's an easy cap. You would expect it to be so with the uber advantage. Finally. And uh, going into the next mid, though, I'm going to watch. Um, I'm going to give it to Geo. Let's see what Geo's got for us. The Roamer going to go across this mid here. And uh, he's doing the jump across, going into the closet side. Bombing up on the train. Actually eats an early sticky and gets counter jumped. And he's down to two health. He's the first death. But uh, Yuki, Yuki seems to be... Uh, Making a lot happen on these mids. He, I think he picks off a scout there and then um, then just survives, you know? Always important that if you get a pick that you can survive because then you start creating that number advantage, you know? You don't want to just make every single one of your deaths a trade because uh, number advantage means so much in TF2 um, because your team could all have, you know, 20 health, but if you have the numbers, you can put out that team pressure and it, it means so much. Uh, even Ubers though, and they're giving up the forward hold. Just gonna fall back to last now. Max spun it up on that pyro, but he's gonna switch to scout. I'm gonna watch shift to see what kind of pressure he puts out with his spam. Actually, the Uber just popped early, so it looks like um, maybe it's the Australian meta, but they have absolutely no time to go for forces or to get picks. They just uber right in, and whether it's uber v uber, it doesn't matter to them. They don't care. They're just going to try and bait out a counter push. Maybe that's the real strat here is uber in, bait out a counter push, and see what happens. And it's working perfectly. Mac going to feed them that one frag, but Termo disregarding completely the stickies on the ground. You'd think he was clockwork, but uh, he's going to die to that trap. And, you know, demo down, that's quite the advantage, especially on the, the terrain that is Spire, Yuki. <laughs> Getting a bit cocky there. Walks into the doorway. Termo at this point has already spawned. But Shifta has snuck his way into house. And uh, denied Termo the health pack. So Termo's going to be playing a little bit passive here. As he defends Spire. But Geo takes out the medic. The medic got pushed way far forward there. And Geo just bombs right on him. Looks like they're trying to cap this Spire once again. As a last ditch effort to buy some time. If I were Mac here... I'd be looking for that back cap. So much time on Spire. If he could maybe slip out, maybe get behind, get into house. No, uh, Geo would have been there. Maybe hide on bats. See, look, here's the opening. Boom, jump on Spire. Cap it up. And boom, you, you would have had it capped. So, would have liked to see that. Would have been the sneaky play. Would have been the play I would have gone for at that moment in time. But the Ubers popped. Geo just rocket jumping on the point. And, yeah, baiting everyone down perfectly. Termo and Geo just laying explosives onto everyone from Los Poyos Hermanos, and they get cleaned up real quick. Um, notice that I see uh, a little bit of pyro play, but I don't see any engineer. I'm not seeing any heavy, so it seems their off-classing that they're willing to do is is not quite that much, and it might be kind of hindering their last holds here. Going into the next mid, I'm going to give it to Yuki. I think he's he's gotten the first pick on every mid. Runs through the closet, completely unscathed. Gonna be putting out some pressure on the enemy team's bridge here. And uh but then pushes back, falls back to his team, I mean, starts shooting at the soldiers, changing targets so often, and uh actually not able to really get an opening that he could feel confident rushing down and uh 
Bonobo has gone down. Both medics, in fact, down with a number advantage strongly in favor of Los Poyos. But not a lot of health, so they're going to slow it down. Termo already trapping up Spire. Yuki sneaking around on mid. Puts the meat shot in to shift us back. Who is caught with his escape plan debuff. And Yuki gets two frags there. So Yuki has the brains for sure. He knew that everyone was weak. They might be running towards that health pack as weak players. And they'd be easy targets for cleanup. So... Losing track of someone as dangerous as Yuki, definitely a mistake from uh, Los Poyos, and we're going to see them now, after winning mid, going to be losing Spire, I think, after such a convincing mid win. Such a simple mistake is going to start costing them. Um, Yuki now on the chase, on the prowl, he comes in behind, completely disregarding that scout who's... Honestly, not done that much damage to him, but he's going to burn. And actually, Yuki manages to kill off Blands. Crazy. That scout was getting pocketed, and he still goes down. But here's Termo, already in on last, moving at that high pace that you'd expect out of Invite or Premier level players. And the Pyro completely distracted, going to eat that pipe. Where's your M2 spam? Come on, Mac. But the Uber is finally popped. You know, Smiley Face Man has been able to... Get a lot of ubers on these last holds, but the numbers just simply aren't there. Slinky gets two frags, but it's not going to be enough. Numbers advantage too strong, and it's 3-1, to one, first half, complete. And uh, despite losing the first round, we've seen a quick a quick roll, honestly, for, the, for these uh, next three rounds in the favor of cash money. So, looks like they found their momentum, maybe just needed a little bit of time to warm up. I bet most of these guys don't even play TF2. Reminds me of a certain top North American team that tends to lose the first round and then kick it into the kick it into shape, you know. Um, so the face, 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 face. Are you that guy that's the face medic? Is that you? Are you the face, face, face? Or are your names just similar? Um. So yeah, what needs to change really is, uh, man, it's hard to say. It's hard to say what really could change because there's been there's been moments of brilliance from from both teams. Um, Shifta looks like struggling a little bit. You know, maybe I just need to give him a little bit more camera time, but it seems like um, not a lot of clean clean pushes. You know. Um, I think they've been struggling to kill off um, Bonobo at some pretty important moments. The Uber advantages are not really in their favor. I don't know. I don't really know what it is. I think that also to some extent they're struggling to to just hold back the aggression that's coming out of um, cash money, you know? Um, as, as a team that has so many experienced players, players that have been so dominant in the history of Australian TF2, I think that, I think that it's kind of showing in their playstyle, you know. They have a lot of aggression, and um, they just feel confident winning every fight. And they kind of know, they know that maybe the other team might be playing into that, you know. Giving them that respect, maybe overestimating them, you know. That's, uh, you know... There's two sides of it, you know. Maybe, maybe the first round, um, Cash Money was underestimating them, but honestly, after that, maybe, uh, maybe Los Poyos have started overestimating their opponent. You know, you never want to treat any opponent as too good or too bad, you know, to take seriously. Um, you always want to treat them as, you know, a worthy opponent that is equal, and that if you give them the opportunity, they'll beat you. But if you play your game, you can you can beat them, you know. So. You know, that's part of the mind games, the meta behind any competition. I think that um, it, it always plays a factor, you know. There are certain players that honestly have a lot of potential at the top level of TF2, but you know that they have a weak mental game, so it's like that will always be a, a weakness. It'll always be something that they're vulnerable to. But going into the next mid, I'm going to watch Termo. 
Nailing the rollout. Going to be rolling out window here. It's worked for him so far. Shooting the sticky across. Actually catching one on the window. So not doing any mid, mid damage yet. But he doesn't need to. Yuki and Gio are just going to combine. Take out T-Rock. Yuki going nuts on these mids. He's already got three frags. And he's taking only about ten damage here. I think he's going to make it four frags. Where's Shifta? Shifta goes down. So Gio and Yuki having a huge mid. That's the flank. The flank class is for... Um, for this cash money squad. And Geo moving quickly. Going to be moving into upper lobby. Mac on Pyro already. Oh, T-Rock down to 40 health. But Geo going to survive on 6. And this push is coming. They're going to be healing up. Not wanting to waste too much time though. Let's see who brings it in on this Uber. Which one's really the pocket scout? I haven't really been able to tell. I would think it would be Yuki, you know. I think Yuki, who's played pocket soldier for so long, would kind of be used to getting those heals on scout too but um let's see who it is who's gonna get this flash yes indeed it is yuki blends actually on pyro not mac who i would have expected and yuki just gonna run on the point mac trying his best to defend it t-rock was in the tube i feel like this is like the australian demo man spot you know if i could uh if I could wager where any Australian demo man is at any given time, I think the tube is a pretty safe bet. But going into this last mid, everything on the line for for Los Poyos. And let's watch let's watch Shifta. You know what he really needs is a medic pick here. If he can deliver, his team might just have a chance here. Push it underneath. Bland's gonna go down. It's Yuki on these mids, man. Yuki can't be stopped. Never mind. Slinky just killed him. But Shifta now getting some positioning. Now's the perfect time. Bomb them. You have a scout distracting. There you go, Shifta. You've learned how to roam. Face. Trying to escape, but primed. I don't think he's going to let him. Primed. Ooh. Did he get juked? Face. What a sneaky, sneaky little kangaroo. Here he is on Greybridge. Never would have expected that if I were the scout. <laughs> I like it. Um, and now going into mid. They're going to be peek and choke with that huge uber advantage. Termo got a trap all over the house. What a sloppy, sloppy trap. <clears throat> T-Rock gets the pick. But T-Rock falls down into valley. Awful, awful positioning there. Especially as a demo, you gotta be prioritizing survival. But also, the most questionable positioning I've seen from Bonobo, he's gonna go down. So, what could have been a huge mistake has kind of uh, just avalanche snowballed into mistakes from both teams. And uh, Bonobo just committing himself to that fight before the Uber had even ended, before his team was able to really establish any positioning. And right after killing the demo, you know, that's when you you should have it easy street, you know, but he's going to die, so. Here's the soldier dropping out. Geo gets right onto face. Oh, sees that opportunity and he dives on it, you know. That's perfect play right there from Geo dropping out of that drop down. And the quick reactions here to jump over towards his team who's fighting over in trash. But I think he can sense that someone's behind. It's Mac. Not going to be trying to waste the other team's time. His team's at a big disadvantage right now. So the more time he can make them chase him for, uh, the better for his team. And uh, it looks like they've they've found him. They realize he has retreated. So now Bonobo's going to be building this Uber up. He's at 85%, so this push should be coming into mid pretty soon. Let's see how Face is positioned. He's, he's fairly far back at a safe enough distance, but... Let's see what happens when Termo jumps in here. He's at 130 health. Down to 100. Down to 10. Shifta bombs in, gets the force, and drops the demo. What a play from Shifta there. Great job. But Zach, somehow, somehow the Uber popped all the way back here, but they managed to get it all the way through Choke 2 and pick off T-Rock. How is that going to happen, my friends? How are you going to let that happen? But Face is at 95, and maybe... The server's going to change maps. So the STV was not delayed. So I'll just have to use my imagination there. I'm going to say Face, who is at 98% there, 
dropped the Uber, and Cash Money pushed in through, rolled it onto Spire, and capped last. Heartbreaking defeat. Um, wish I could have seen it, though. Ah. <sighs> 